Number seven, what is in for me syndrome? Not everyone in your organization will love Agile for a very simple reason. Accepting accountability, all the hype of teamwork and creating long living teams, all this transparency is not appealing to everyone. Some people like to be told what to do. They trade a part of their life to make ends meet. Other people who are trained to become managers, to become the people others go to when they have a problem and they have to come up with an answer. And it's a well-paid job, they were told. Now, point is, if you're going agile, a lot of people will actually be pushed out of their comfort zones. So on the one side, they need to accept probably accountability. On the other side, they are no longer required to be these people who actually make things happen because that is part of the team's job to figure out how that is working. So in a lot of cases, a personal agenda is colliding with the bigger picture of the agile transition. In an agile setup, for example, you can no longer run CV optimizations for your next career step by running a pet project, for example. Or you can no longer push for features being delivered because your individual bonus is depending on them. It's simply no longer working. Checks and balances, that's the great advantage of an agile organization. And these people exactly know that this is not in their favor. <laughs> <laughs>